All right, and here we go for the uh, second men's quarter final between third seed Karim El Hamani and the sixth seed Mustafa El Surti. Joining me in the uh, commentary box for this one, Owen Taylor, how are you doing? Good, thanks. Andrew, how are you? Yeah, good, mate. Ready for this? Should be an exciting match. Yeah, I think uh, uh, yeah. for the lineup today, this is probably the one match that everyone wants to watch, I think. Yep, two Egyptians going up against it at each other. So, as we've seen just now, we saw a win for Rana Ismail earlier on and a big win for Abe Singh, followed by a three love win for Tanvi Kana. And here we go, ready for the fourth quarter final match. Obviously, Karim comes into this as the slightly higher seeded player, but uh, Mustafa El Serti just he picked up a 5k tournament title win a couple of weeks ago in Egypt, so he'll come in here with plenty of confidence, I'm sure. Oh, first rally, the ball's just gone out the back, and there's a bit of a there's a bit of a well at the back there where the cameramen sit, so a little bit of time to find this ball. Yeah, as you say, I think uh, obviously Kareem's the favourite here. He's about six years older, I think, than um, his opponent, El Serti. So he should have the experience on his side. But as you say, El Serti seems to be on the up at the moment. And as a dangerous young Egyptian player, I don't think you can ever sort of write them off, can you? No, he's obviously, El Serti's got a lot of pedigree as well. You know, as we spoke about earlier with Yeha, El Serti comes in as having won the, un the last under-19 British Junior Open, and he was a runner-up in the World Juniors, so he lost to Asal in the final of the World Juniors here in KL. So, you know, he comes in with with quality, you know. Um, Al Hamani obviously himself won the World Juniors back back a few years ago. Um, so, yeah, these boys have, have the pedigree. It'll be interesting to see what kind of match they produce. Probably going to need a new ball to start with. Yeah, I think you'd rather it happen this early on than sort of halfway through <laughs> yeah. the match and you got used yeah, to it. Exactly. So. But yeah, as you say, I'll certainly add, despite his age of just 19 years old, I mean, he doesn't look physically out of place on the court. He's a big, oh, he's a big, big boy. guy. Yeah. yeah. yeah he, I mean, he's look a solid at the side, boy. It's reading them there. It's, it's <laughs> almost. Yeah. So he's definitely going to try and set his sort of physical presence on the court here, I'd imagine. Yeah, yeah I agree with you. I say it shouldn't be too hard to warm the ball up in these conditions. It's pretty <laughs> hot out there isn't it, at the moment. Yeah, it's it's pretty warm on that court in India. Um, these these boys and they they strike it pretty firm as well, especially El Serti can generate some pace on that ball. 
Yeah, I think we could be uh, in for a few long, hard, brutal rallies here at the start. Both quite attacking players as well. So. Yeah, and this will be their, their first hit on the glass as the other matches yesterday were on the outdoor courts. Um, obviously, yesterday was a bit of a tough match for, for El Certi. He came up against uh, Velovan, who was a co probably a couple of years older than him, but also managed to win the British Juniors a couple of years back under 19s. Um, so, yeah, he had a tough match yesterday against Velovan, but managed to sneak the fifth, I think it was 11-1. Um, yeah, just showing his maybe a bit of experience at the high level, physically, but stronger there. Yeah. Um, yeah, this, I think you're right, this is going to be a tough match. It'd be interesting to see how he backs up, I would say, as a as a sort of bigger stature player, it's definitely harder on the body to have those long, brutal matches. So yeah. You often see they struggle more like the, the Rosners of the, of the world. With the five sets yeah, just, yeah, just slightly mistimed a couple here around the middle. I just caught a few side walls in the front. Yeah, it's the same again from Homami. Just perhaps adjusting to the glass court still. Yeah, it's it's a bit can be a bit fast this this glass here. It can just zip through. On times, there's a few nicks at the back of the boxes, especially on the back end. So you really got to be be careful when you're leaving it to go through to the back of the court. You can find yourself in some some awkward positions. Well straightened there from El at the front. Yeah, good, good, good power just to try and push that down the down the line. Yeah, I would agree that that was probably a stroke. That as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's... Yeah, he's stuck in the line there. The ball just came back to him just at his feet. I think we've had about 60% of these points have been strokes so far, so <laughs> yeah. stroke or winner. Uh, they've not really got much going going straight at the moment either. Both of them are still adjusting, I feel, to this glass court. That's a nice finish. That's well placed yeah. into the fading, fading away into the sidewall. Perhaps a little bit of edginess as well from El Certi coming in. Obviously, being the lower seed, trying to cause an upset. Yeah, these Egypt Egypt battles can kind of be quite tense affairs sometimes. But there seems to be a little bit of extra pressure on there, and so they can be sometimes a little bit. And it looks like that's going to be another stroke. Yeah, I think that both of these players are from Cairo, so. They'll definitely know each other. Will they have definitely played each other before? Yeah. Yeah, both of them just not quite getting the back at five all and not really found any range or line length yet at the moment. Six five versus well yeah. I think this first game might be a question of who can just keep it tidier for longer at the moment. A bit scrappy. Yeah. Yeah, it is a, you're right, it's a little bit scrappy, this. And again, another, another error. So far, this hasn't quite lived up to the big match that we were uh, expecting so far. <laughs> no, I'm sure... Um don't want to speak to you soon, but I'm sure as these guys warm up into it, start getting their flow around the court, start to see a lot more explosive squash. Yeah, I, I agree. These these boys are both exciting players, so sh should get going. That's a bit better. 
Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, good squeeze that squeeze one that did well. Yeah, good squeeze that. Again, just catching that sidewall on the mid court, and El Hamam is all over it to take a quick, quick winner into the front. Yeah, he's just not hitting that back wall, back corner length at the moment. El Certi, he's just trying to hit it through, and it's clipping the sidewall, landing short. And his last couple of rallies, Hamami's just tied it up really nicely. Be a stroke as well. Yeah, it didn't look like there was quite enough space for him to play. I think he knew that as well. It was quite a half hearted appeal to the ref there when he turned around. Yeah. yeah. Probably agree with that. There's probably a bit of space there for him to hit. Yeah, I think if you start giving those as strokes, then it encourages almost players looking for each other around the middle of the court. Yeah, and that's not what we want in this. Yeah, uh, we want these boys to be getting on with it. I mean, they're both obviously talented enough with the racket to hit that ball, so no reason why they shouldn't be. Yeah. through the legs. <laughs> nice adjustment there to the backboard bounce out the corner. Yeah, I think yeah. when you go into these back corners, you've really got to be prepared for anything, really. Um, it's not easy to uh, to adjust, but just got to have that preparation that anything could really come. Yeah, like you say, if it is a quick court, especially on glass courts, You've got to really read the ball well, and even then it can fire out at you sometimes where the joins meet the floor. Yep. Yeah, and this. Kind of interesting at 7 9. Both just finding a little bit more rhythm and a little bit more, more range. Yeah, Hamami's just holding on to that two point lead he got in, in the mid stage of the game at the moment. but. Uh, it's a cheap. quick winner though. Yeah, yeah, cheap cheap point really. As good from El Certi just to get onto it and play a quick counter drop in the front. That's the thing with these boys, you leave anything at the front and they they're just so good at tidying that up and punishing you for anything weak. Yep. Yeah, it's just there's the difference there, you can't really leave that kind of ball that high and just expect nothing to happen to it. Probably the longest rally of the game so far that. Oh yeah, and he, he went up in the lights there and he's put it in the floor. Commentator's curse, I think, just as I said that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a good, good rally though that. It's a bit more structured to that as opposed to the earlier, earlier game. Yeah, correct. So just getting into the high quality that we were looking for.
little drop shot there. Lovely finish there. Really shows every option possible there. Yeah, it does a big swing and then the severity to cut down on the ball in the last minute and take it in so short. Very difficult to do that skill. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's it's very difficult, and he did it. Made it look very easy there. Ten nine. Got to really, yeah, got to really get that ball into that back corner on this court. And Mammy just leaving it a little bit short in this rally. Huge point this. I think whoever takes the first game will have a huge advantage in this match. Yeah, it's good. it's going to be a tight match, so you really want to get that, that positive start. Extra power from El Surti. Oh, what a drop. Thought that was good. Definitely got that, I think. Yeah, I think he just got it. It was a good drop, though, from oh, oh Yeah, that's too good. Really severe, using his wingspan well there. Yeah, that was a beautiful volley, and he managed to keep it nice and straight as well. Very easy to drag that one into the middle when you've got such an open stance on the forehand. You almost yep. flattened out the racket there and kept it going straight. Yeah, and it was much better from the earlier part of the game where they would have probably just caught the sidewall there. He managed to keep it running all the way down the sidewall. Um, so they really give El Hamami not really much chance to, to, to put that back on the front wall. Oh yeah, 10 all in the first. Interesting uh, mop break there as well. I think M momentum with his, is with El Certi at the moment, having come back a few points. Mammy's probably wanting to disrupt that rhythm. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. I mean, sometimes the best thing to do after a quick break is to go short off the return, trying to catch out your opponent. I feel that's a let. I feel was, El Hamami was actually more of a safety than anything. I felt he was quite a bit of distance there. Yeah, I think there's, that's nowhere near a stroke. So just yeah, a simple was, safety. Yeah, he was quite quite aware. aware. Oh, great dive. What a get. Yeah, what a and good finish that well, is as well. I thought he might have left that a bit too long there and let the ball drop, giving Hamami time to get up, but great angle yeah. on that kill. Yeah, very good, very severe on that on that kill. But almost he, he almost went a little bit too close to the top of the tin. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I'm not sure I would have been brave enough to play that that low <laughs> ten all yeah. first game. <laughs> But he's done well to win the last three points and give himself his first game ball here. Yeah, he's just stepped up the court a bit, been a bit more aggressive, and I think because he's started hitting a bit of a, a more solid length, it's enabled him to do that. Yeah, I definitely agree. I think the, the better length has definitely helped El Surti win the last few points. <laughs>
Yeah, I think his his average length at El Certi is about a foot lower than Amami's on the front wall at the moment. Yeah, it's... Oh, this could be interesting. Yeah. I was going to say he should have played that. Yeah, it would have been interesting if he had have hit it. What, what would your call be there? I would have probably gone for a let. I would have thought he would have tried to hit the cross into the forehand side. I think so. I don't, uh, I don't know. I mean, everyone obviously, you're in that position, you see it differently, but he's got the whole sort of 90% of the right hand side of the court there to hit into space. Doesn't yeah. even need to be a spectacular shot to win that point there. That's good though. Oh, he's got it. Oof. Well, that That's the trouble being a breaks here. Big, yeah. Being a big guy, it's a lot harder up from those dives. It's not quite yeah. as explosive as the Paul Cole did it. <laughs> not sure what, what the referee was asking then. Something about the racket string. You'd like to think he'd know if his string had gone there, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. The referee having to tell you. <laughs> uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put that mop too far. I think it's going to be quite a lot of use in this match. It's interesting. I wonder how long they'll leave it before bringing back the the court cleaners and stuff obviously with COVID you can't have that at the moment but it's quite an interesting dynamic having the towel like I think you spoke about earlier having the towel box at the front get their own, their own ball yeah. out of court yeah Definitely picking their own ball about yeah it's been uh, it's been an interesting one I actually don't feel there's been too many breaks in play it's actually kind of speeded up the game if anything um, yeah, I don't know. It's a tough one. That's going to be a tough decision as well from from this angle. Yeah, one thing I've noticed is it's amazing how many uh, players' shoelaces have sort of started staying tied up now these days. Yeah, exactly. Now that, uh, <laughs> now that the towel box is there, it's interesting. <laughs> I think it's been a, a positive for the game, you know, like players just getting on with it and that'll be a no let there. Great length. Yeah, actually, actually the players don't need to wipe their hand after every rally. It's uh, it's been interesting. Yeah, that, that, that was definitely a no let. Was a bit too good. Oh, that could be interesting. Yeah, I felt like. I'm not a fan of that one where you sort of turn almost your shoulders facing the back wall looking for the decision there. I think realistically you're not playing the shot like that, so I think a let is a fair decision there. Yeah, he probably could have just, if he'd have probably taken that in quickly and straight volley drop, it would have been, probably would have been quite difficult to pick up. Angle. Yeah, from that front angle, it looked difficult to tell how good the quality of that drop was. It just looked like it popped the nick and then just popped up a bit. And Hamami was flying in behind as well. You could see him just sort of come over the shoulder of El Yeah. A lot of, lot of decisions here so far in this match. And that's probably the tenth decision we've had so far. Yeah, it was both of them didn't really find much line and length at the start of the game and now towards the crucial points it's getting a little bit a little bit scrappy with the decisions. Yeah. 
got to play that. Yeah, I think he he probably had enough space to play that. I think he's yeah. I think he's extremely lucky to get that ball there. Actually, had plenty of room. Had the whole front wall. Yeah. Generates a lot of power on that backhand flick cross court L30. Quite deceptive. Yeah. It's uh he leaves it so late as well. I'm not sure about that one because it seemed like El Hamani he actually looked like he was going to hit a volley shot and I think El Certi kind of ran up for that and then the ball went deep it's a, a difficult one because he didn't run it tight either yeah that's, a, that's an interesting one that and then a bit without a replay you can't really see everything no, I think we take those those slow mo replays for granted a bit in the, the um, top level of the tour these days. Really yeah. do give an advantage, Breeze. So severe. I mean, yeah. And then is that the, the mistake way, in the front? Yeah, he missed it. I mean, the way he twisted out out the back there, and then turned around and was so severe on that forehand. Be a big stroke. Yeah. Interesting first game that. There's uh, a lot going on, different stages of the game. Yeah, the first part of the game they were really trying to f work their way into it, probably adapting yesterday from the, the outside courts onto the glass. Quite a big change actually. 28 minute first game. Uh, yeah, so that and then it kind of got a little bit scrappy towards a little bit of quality towards the end, and then when we once we got to ten all, then it got a little bit tense and a little bit edgy, and a few court breaks, probably a few too many decisions, and uh, yeah, tough one. All right. Definitely about going to be a battle of who's hitting the better length. I think. I think Hamami there at the end was sort of, especially on his cross courts, picking the title. to be a bit of an uphill struggle here for um, L30 having had a yesterday. 
uh, 28 minute first game here it's going to be physically demanding if he wants to turn this around yeah not yeah I think what yesterday was quite a long match as well and then yeah you're right a 28 minute first game doesn't really help him what did he give there no I think that's harsh. I know it's, it was tight, but these boys are more than yeah, capable of playing that. Yeah, he, I would have thought he would have got that. So to give a no, that is probably a little bit harsh. It wasn't particularly low at all either. It was. Yeah, it's pretty high on the front wall. Yeah, that's good. Uh, good. It's good. Good that he was honest. That he didn't didn't get that. It's good to see. Obviously, they don't have the benefit of the, like you said, the replays here. See those double bounce pick up. They do yeah, require a little. So, bit of yeah, I think the refs further away than me and you in this place, so <laughs> uh, hard to see. Good width. Yeah, I think he should have hit that. The boast, mm, boast was probably his only option there. Yeah, um, but he's lucky to get let there actually. I think. Yeah, I would have probably gone with him playing that. I think boast was probably his only option onto that wall. That was quite a clever shot from El Hamami. Yeah, great awareness to know El Certi was up the court and would have volleyed anything not to that width. Yeah. It's time to find a little bit of better quality hit into the back here. That's a good, uh, that's a good volley drop there around the middle from El Certi. A little bit of contact, just kind of just banged his ankle a little bit. Yeah, I missed that contact. I was too busy looking at the shot quality, but it was very severe. Sort of chucked that leg out, volleyed it, cut it off well. Yeah, I don't think it's strange, really. I don't. Looks all right though, I think. Yes, I would have thought it'd be all right. Just probably a little bit of an impact pain and a little bit of a grimace there. Again, nice and severe on that forehand. Not quite the shot he intended, but actually worked out a little bit to his favour there. <laughs> yeah. There's the error. There hasn't actually been too many mistakes like that in this game. A lot of lets and strokes and sort of mishit targets. In terms of errors at the front of the court, both players have been pretty accurate up until now. Yeah, not not too many misses, not too many uh, unforced errors. Hopefully that doesn't mean we're just going to get a barrage of them now. We'll see. Yeah, that's good. Just took that volley nice and early. Yeah, it just looked like it was second day off. Yeah, I was certainly obviously thinking he got that. A bit of a double bent over there. Some That's the first sign of him physically tired. Uh, and then another cheap error in the front. Towel break. El Hamami wanting to get on with this. Yeah, if you're Hamami here, you're going to really want to kick on these next few points. Make it tough. 
offer him nothing cheap. Yeah, yeah, he's making him work. He is obviously if, uh, that, that double bent over was the first sign of a bit of fatigue. Dexterity oh, yeah, there. Yeah, you could see from El Hamamé's movement there from that angle, he was going to look for the cross court lob, and then it just got a nice little touch in the front. I mean, That's everything about his block shot. Yeah. Nice touch to the front there, really making the court big for El Terti. Yeah. Was like three or four errors in the last few rallies here from El Serti, which is just giving the advantage to El Hamami because Hamami was on the ropes a little bit there, he was struggling to get the ball with the quality back on the front wall, just catching a few side walls. That could be interesting. Given a let ball there, has he? I think he's given a no let there. No, I think Wow. Yeah, I think he thought there was probably a line to the right of El Serti. I mean, it's tough. They seem to be really emphasising the correct line there into the front of the court. That's the second no let they've given there, isn't it? One yeah. for each player. No. That's a nice drop. Oh, he went... A little Mizuki there at the front, was it? Yeah, it looked like it. Yeah. And then I thought he'd missed it, but he actually got it just above the top of the tin. I'm not sure that was on you, though. I think a backhand punch would have been perhaps the one. Yeah, I thought the backhand was way easier. Yeah, he's getting a few more opportunities here now, El Hamami. Yeah, you can tell he's just sort of reacting into this game. Yeah, he's kind of racing away with it a little bit here. Also, he's kind of given this up, I feel. Drop off return and then a, and a big guess. And then he's just yeah, thrown that in the bottom of the tin. So he's obviously hoping that he's going to have a big two-minute recovery in the middle here and try and come back for game three. Yeah, I think he needs to change up his game plan there. Yeah. Uh, big contrast there in the match times. 28 minute first game down to 9 minute second game. Uh, El Hamami, I'm sure, will be feeling, feeling a lot of confidence going into this third game. You see there from got up to a 7 4 lead and then closed it out from from 7-5 all the way through to 11-5 and there was not really much resistance there towards the second part of that game. Yeah, it was interesting. I think you brushed on it in the Ave Singh match where how having that points advantage really swings the momentum of the game. If you can get a couple of points on the board ahead of your opponent, I mean, you just, in that last game, you saw El Certi sort of shoulder slump, a bit sort of looking more fatigued and slow around the court be interesting to see if he can get if El Certi can get a couple of points early on in this game whether he'll have a second wind almost to be able to kick back on or if Hamami will keep dominating him like he did in that second 
Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how he's going to start here. Thanks. Just missed the top of that there, El Hamanami. Good going short on the first shot of the third. So he's either feeling it physically or, or a great right. shot. He's falling backwards into the court there. So hard to play on mid air as well. Good squeeze, tight, great defense. Oh, he got it. What a pick up that was off the boast. I thought the boast was going to be a winner and such quick feet to get to the front and slide in and squeeze that onto the front wall. Yeah, you'd think if he did get that, he'd have to defend it, but he actually hit a really good counter drop there. Yeah. Making uh, El Certi then play the next one. And then, he, and then he was back up for the next volley winner. Great shot. He's always been a very smooth but explosive when he needs to be moved around Hamami, especially around the front. I remember watching him in the World Juniors when he played Farah's in the final and he was just flying around the court then. Yep. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a good player. This hasn't quite kicked on as the others have. Yeah, you say that. I mean, he's it's tough because you compare him to the other Egyptians who have these sort of astronomical rises very quickly to the top of the rankings. You compare that to a normal yeah. person, and um, yeah. he's probably, like that in comparison to about some of the European players, he's done relatively well, and he's still top 15 in the world, sort of standard. So. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair point. Yes, it just shows the sort of Egyptian dominance of the sport at the moment. Yeah, they are definitely uh, leading the way from from juniors all the way through to, to seniors at the moment. That is for sure. Yeah, just trying to fire himself up a little bit here, Elsa. He's short sharp rallies he's not wanting to get drawn into things he's trying to be a little bit more severe on the ball around the middle of the court that's a, that's a nice, nice finish yeah well, that, nice that to tidy that up so Well, Certi's still with a point lead here, though. If you can hold on to this towards the latter stages of the game. Might be able to just nick it. Yeah, I think our whole mammy wants to try and get this physical work in here. Mm. It's a stroke. I felt that movement there was a bit naughty. Nice I think green kind yeah, my, my my screen kind of froze a little bit on that and it looked a little bit naughty. Yeah, I think the he perhaps went a little bit sideways into Hamami instead of taking the direct line. But yeah, the again, ball was Hamami's a little bit further in front of Yeah, whereas the early early game and the second, he was probably hitting those balls deep. He's now decided he's just going to attack a lot more into the front. He's quite enjoying these short, sharp rallies. Yeah, and interesting there, on that return of serve, it was Hamami who was hunched over, hands on his knees. So perhaps he's feeling the effects of the game as well. Big movement into that front corner and again getting across to cover. Yeah. 
Nice. That's a good shot. Great way of yeah, that's a good length that. There's a good angle on it as well. The line just into that forehand back corner. Still got a few points to make up here though. I'll certainly not taking his foot off the gas with the aggressive play into the front. Yeah, he's got his reward, he's got another error. Again, little... Yeah, some deep breaths there from Karim. Just caught the cloth top of the tin, probably didn't need that error. 10 6 would have been a good advantage to go into the end of the third. Yeah, that's a huge point. That gives the momentum back to Hamami now. Oh, but I mean, if you can do that, then why not? That was beautiful. <laughs> Just rolls it in. Off the sidewall as well. It wasn't even a particularly bad start from Hamami. And there we go, that's game two. Very quick points at the end. It's interesting how that effect of that first game has just taken its toll, I would have thought. I mean, it hit El Certi first, and it seems now to have hit El Hamami. There we go, a little advert from HCL, who are proud sponsors of of this event. Obviously doing a lot to help Indian squash at the moment, which is which is great for them. And they've put on this fantastic event for us here in Chennai at the Squash Academy of India. The Indian Squash Academy, sorry. As we can see there, runner points. Really, from that probably that midpoint of the game there, El Certi just took a little bit more control. Yeah, I think it was just a lot more errors creeping in there from Hamami. He wasn't quite as solid. I think that was a perhaps a, a result of the aggressive style from El Certi coming out straight from the first point, going short off the return of serve. Really had a clear purpose in that game, which seemed to work for him. I think El Certi could have a lot of success here if he manages to keep up that aggressive play because he doesn't need to hit those outright winners. I know he hit a few nice shots there. Yeah, I, I, if I was El Certi, I'd be looking to keep up those short, sharp rallies and because he is so severe on the ball, seems to have been causing causing a few problems. And obviously, if that 28-minute first game is taking effect, then and yesterday's five-setter, then uh, shorter the sharper is going to be better for El Certi. 
Of. Yeah, if you're from Mammy here, you're going to look to want to elongate the rallies, aren't you? Maybe mix the paces up a bit, slow it down, play some fast. Just sort of get El Certi out of this semi comfort zone he seems to have found over the last game and a half. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree with that. I'd want to be uh, extending the rallies if I was a Mammy for sure. Make sure I've, I've got to be accurate though. such an intense pace at the moment but it is just one pace at the moment there's yeah it's just bang back bang at the moment there's no extremities no, it's all a bit hard and fast and not not really as accurate as probably the all her mommy needs to be I think her, her mommy there's complaining about the movement of El Certi was he not not too happy being Shut yeah, out. Prob probably just on that volley around the middle. Great shot there. Didn't quite catch that with the camera angle change, but you could just see from the response and the angle it took. Yeah, obviously I'll say to you as well agreeing that it was a fantastic shot. And again, similar kind of situation. For a tall guy, it's so hard to do those low explosive direction changes at the front of the court. I mean, he's got yeah, a good 20 centimetre height difference with him and Hamami. Obviously, the centre of gravity is much lower for Hamami. He can turn those corners quicker. Yeah. A couple of points he's just managed to put on uh, L30. If he'd have made that, that would have been... I think L30 is asking who should take the ball out from that towel zone there. Oh, her mummy obviously her wanted to get on with this. Yeah, the 30's done well to slow the play down in between rallies here. I mean, when you're winning the rallies, you control the pace. You start them, so... Yeah. Did well to change that direction. Be interesting. Next time, if you're not going to move up better, then it'll be better. I felt those are probably just a line, just a little bit to the left. Yeah, I, I think, think. The, ref, the ref's giving him L30 a warning. I think he said stroke next time if um, yeah, no. it's the same interference. Is he taking a injury break here? From the, back it or is he, is he just stalling for time a bit? Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. He seems to be wanting to take three minutes but I think it's, um, it's a bit longer isn't it if it's uh, contributed to by the opponent. Uh, oh, Mama is obviously not not happy with this and not wanting him to be allowed off court. I mean, 
it didn't look like there was much in it from from our point of view here not yeah, enough from the angle we saw but i guess only he knows truly how how bad he's affected there He's not gone back to his um, his corner where his bag and kit is. So he's he's obviously gone to to get something. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's just walked around just to the physio table at the side there. To see if he can just someone can tweak something for him maybe or put a bit of DP or some ice on it. Magic sponge, I think, is might be what he needs. Some of that spray that the uh, footballers physio uses. Yeah. Important for her mammy to keep warm here, keep sort of that momentum going that he had. Now Sage for yeah, turning support here. Yeah. Yeah, I think he was, he was doing pretty well there, which is probably why he was a bit upset that. Well, Surti was allowed off court for that break. Should probably just get into him a little bit physically. He'd had a couple of rallies where he'd managed to extend it. And now he's going to have to start building that pressure and that momentum again here. No sign of... El Certi struggling with anything wrong with his back at the moment over there. No, not at all. Okay. Oof. Where? Oh, yeah. Harsh that, I thought. Yeah. Again, we didn't quite see what what happened there after the volley. Obviously, our mum is not not too impressed with it. I think El Certi's done well to stay within one point here because it's this game so far has been, I'd say, controlled by her mummy, But it's the errors like that which are keeping him in it. Yeah, it looks a little bit bit frustrated here, her mummy, about how this game's going and what's been allowed to happen. Just a simple let that should be. Yeah, it should be. Can't be much discussion about it. I mean, it's just a. I think every player of this level knows that it's just a simple let at that point. You shouldn't be doing anything else really, unless the other player is particularly encroaching on your space, which I don't think Hamami was. No, for me, that was just a simple one, unless he's looking for next time he's going to hit a cross. Obviously, you never want to see a player get drilled with the ball, but... Yeah, it happened in the previous one, just... Oh, oh yeah, I'm not sure. I'm just going to stop to then start it and then... You can ask wants to stroke there for the contact on that back swing. Yeah. Interesting, there was in the black ball tournament last um, last week, there was a couple of instances where despite the ball st still going up and deemed as only affected, they were still giving strokes in some instances for that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not an easy one. So it's tough. It's how, a bit of a great the range, so. Yeah, they've all got their views on it and I don't think anyone really has a has a solid answer for that kind of situation. I 
absolutely ripped that cross call there. Yeah, Hamami's got to be doing a little bit more of this, I think. This is what he wants to be doing. Yeah, it was coming, wasn't it? I think I'll say he's been a bit slow off a few balls. Hamami's been frustrated with it. Yeah, and he's kind of warned him at the front right about the drop and then clearing after the drop and he's got nailed at the back of the court there. It's nice to see the ref being consistent with that. Yeah, sending out a good message. Uh, Hanami's length is just getting a bit short here. That's three or four in a row. Oh. Don't stop the money. seems convinced there, but it looked looked good to me. That's say he's killed at the front. But he's saying he'll play a let, so maybe. Yeah, it's, uh, it's obviously it's hard for us to. Go on. Please. He's he's obviously he's given him a let and then he's decided he don't want it. Is it? I'm not sure what's happening here. Oh no, he's decided he wants it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's hard for I'm us to see sc from from here. Yeah. Plus, uh, yeah, I think you're right. You're always a bit skeptical, right, when someone's convinced it's up and then changes for a let. Exactly. There must be some sort of. I mean, I haven't played that. Those like. You know that whether your shot's up or down, don't you? Especially in that instant, it wasn't like he was yeah. screeching into the front and his head was down. He was very much on the ball. Oh, it's a good squeeze good there. Squeeze. Yeah, there you go. Just to get that length through and a bit more aggressive. Feel that stayed very short. Stroke, wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, I yeah, like, know, like that's a tough you, one. I, it's tough to see from this angle how, how short it really stayed, but the, I mean, the ball was flying away, like in the opposite direction to last 30, so. Yeah, I, I feel like I felt it stayed quite short, but obviously. From this angle, obviously we we can't I'll really see him. Yeah, I'll certainly now wanting the one that's wanting to get on with it. I feel like the frustration here is beginning to show a bit for Hamami. Coming out in the yeah, quality I feel of the kind of, Yeah, he's kind of lost a little bit of focus here. There's more, more focus on with, with the referee and what's happening there than there is with, with the actual squash. You know, he's, back, he's back at 7-8, but he was, was leading for most of this game. Yeah, I think he, Hamami's doing best when he's just playing that sort of simple, measured squash. I'm not getting involved with the, the hitting battle that El Certi's trying to impose on him. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah, and I think he, he wants to keep the rallies going, but he's been kind of arguing and making it a little bit scrappy and that's kinda of taken him away from his game plan, you know, that what we said earlier is he wants to lengthen out the rallies and try and push El Certi physically. That's kinda of just gone away from him with all the conversations and stuff that are that are going on at the moment yeah, it gets incredibly mental at this stage of the match always it's about who's tougher physically and mentally to be able to keep that concentration when you're fatigued and not get roped into these 
discussions with the referee and each other and still manage to play your game plan. Yeah, it's not it's not easy at all this. So much so much going on here. I think he's just got a warning for something as well, which I couldn't quite pick up. She's given a stroke on that one. Hang on. I'm not sure what's going on here. Stroke to oh, my maple. What? Just now he gave it. And there we not go. Sure. This is. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not sure what's. There you go. Hamami just conceded that it is a lap, not a stroke to him. Despite him being the one that was hit with the ball, hit with the racket. <laughs> Donker's last uh, couple of rallies here. <laughs> it's just getting a little bit out of hand here. It's getting a little bit confusing as to what's what's going on. I think it just should be a level here. I'm at me yeah, it's it's all. It should be, yeah, but. There's a few conversations going on about what, what's happening. I'm not sure if he was bleeding there now and then we need to stop it from bleeding or what's. Well, they've changed that rule now at least, haven't they? So you can't lose the match. Yeah, and the blood injury just needs to make sure it's not bleeding. Big point here when Hamami gets back onto court. Elsa is not particularly keeping the ball warm. So I think the first player to take it in short with a bit of quality might be rewarded here. Uh, a few top spin drops going on, a few lobs. <laughs> and... Yeah, it might be tactical from Elsa. So maybe saving a bit of energy, not wanting to spend anything in the break. Yeah, here we go, back in. We're back going on here. Are we at 8 all or are we at 9-8? I think we're at 8 oh, all. Oh, it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> must get really frustrating with this sort of cut-off side wall here. Yeah, it's really short on this. Uh, oh yeah, I mean the outline is basically out. Oh, Let's make the um, yeah. That's that's what we said, wasn't it? The, the yeah. first court ball with a bit of quality gets rewarded there. Cold ball. Great dive, great get. And, oh, we almost got that next one as well. Well, now we're going to have a clean the court. Very stop start this end of this fourth game here. 
no no one getting in any sort of rhythm really. Oh yeah, it's all just getting a little bit it's scrappy, a bit messy. Be interesting here. Obviously, Hamami did better in the first sort of two games when it was a bit scrappier. Hamami was the one that tidied it up and came out on top. Yeah, I feel like this this fourth game is. I mean, the time's going to be long, but not really had actual much squash. It's been quite a lot of conversations and discussions and two injury breaks and. Also, yeah, it's going to be almost in this ball, yeah. almost, almost a certain nick there. there. I think that would that would have frustrated Karim even more there. That's great movement from Karim though to be able to adjust that so quickly. Still return a shot with decent quality. Yeah, it's done well. Nine all. It's a nine all. No way. Oh, oh I think that's a straight. He gets that. That's, I don't. Oh, I would have. Not even sure that's a let there. I think Mammy's well clear by the time the ball gets to him. It's high. Not really sure he's yeah. in the way at all. There's plenty of space, I would have thought, for him to hit that. He's definitely got the quality to be able to hit that ball with ease. So, you know, I would have thought he would be able to, to hit that. Disappointing that is a bit, huge point at this last stage of this fourth game. Could make all the difference. Oh, he's missed it. Yeah, oh, made that was not even close. <laughs> yeah, that was not even close to the top of the tin. It was almost like he was too busy concentrating on keep blocking Helmami out that he missed the drop. Yeah, he just saw his sort of head check backwards, didn't need to see the movement of Helmami. I mean, it was the right yeah. shot choice, I would have said, but he was just not quite fully committed to it, I don't think. Stroke. Oh, that's... Looks like we're going to have another break here. Yeah, I, yeah, I think he's just given a stroke. I, I would have given a stroke there. Yeah, oh, and he's, he's just that side ward in it and sprayed out into the middle. I think yeah, and he's just Elsa banged his nose again. It. Must be tough for Hamami because his nose is right in the middle of a dirty back, so he's almost like running into a brick wall by the looks of things. Yeah. I missed that there. Is the referee given a. I conduct thought he'd given a sh yeah, I think he's given a conduct warning for pushing, but I think he's given a stroke as well. And he's warned El Certi for his movement off the ball and El Hamami's movement into the ball. I think he's <laughs> what he's decided to do. Just war warnings flying around everywhere at the moment, so let's keep up. Yeah, it's I'm not sure who's gonna sit need to sit down most here, the ref or me and you. Yeah. <laughs> So it looks like it's the first match ball for El Hamami here. Once we've uh, finished cleaning the court.
nice of uh, Hamami to help them out with that court clean there, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would say it definitely looks like there's no love lost here, that's for sure. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's been a very first match draw. intentions here from El Certi to just get on the ball and really up the intensity in this rally. Yeah, it's going to be not going to be wanting to give away anything here. It's a good squeeze. Big bit of a chance, but just caught the wall, didn't quite get it deep enough. Yeah, you can see both players sort of when the length isn't being hit, looking for the other. Oh, he's gone for oh it. that could be interesting. I think that popped up a little bit. Yeah. In a stroke. Dude, wow. Tomami <laughs> <laughs> right. thought he had it. He had the chance because the, the cross court nick attempt from El Certi popped up. And all he had to do he was just... keep it straight. And he just clicked the side wall and squirted back to him, although I felt. Yeah, I'm not sure how he's done that. It's almost harder to clip the side wall there than it is. Sometimes on those shots, you almost drag it too straight and it comes back out to you in the middle. And he's just yeah. fired it straight back into the side wall. Well, one match ball save for El Certi now. Her mammy's looking tired. Yes, yeah, I think that's going to be, it might be a bit of a big mental blow, that. Because he thought he had it, I felt. <laughs> I feel all that could be a stroke as well. Yeah, it is. El Certi just went for the angle change there and I think we hit his target. Great shot. Someone could do well to pick Excellent. that up. Yeah. That sort of rush of adrenaline of match ball helping him out, I think, there. Yeah. Fine. Oh, that... Yeah, interesting that I felt like that maybe just ran away from him a little bit. Although he might have just got his end, end of his racket to it. Yeah, I think that, that one was reachable there for um, El Certi. It'd be incredibly hard to get no let for that on match ball. I would feel a bit relieved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big chance. Nice little change of direction there from El Hamami. Yeah, he looks to be the one controlling these last couple of rallies. Obviously, it's El Certi, which is, needs to win the point. He's the one trailing. Oh, that could be interesting as well. Oh, no let. He's given the no let. Wow. Yeah, I felt like, I felt like he could have got that, but... In my mind, I thought he was yeah. going to give another stroke. He didn't. It wasn't an outright winner, was it? All popped up. Yeah, it definitely popped Maybe. up. I uh, don't, don't think the ref was convinced with El Certi's lines to the ball. And uh, given the no let and match to Hamami. Yeah, so uh, it'd be interesting to see what the time on that match was. Uh, especially that fourth game. 
think we're definitely looking at longer than the first. Yeah, I think it was edging closer to the 40 minute mark that that fourth game. There's a lot of stops for all sorts of reasons. Yeah, so it is. Uh, it's uh, the highest seeded Karim El Hamami who's moving on to uh, tomorrow's semi final.